All right, people, it's me, your main man, Mopboy8, and guess what? I'm going to show you how to beat the Dust 2 final boss in Counter-Strike Global Offensive. So I feel like the easiest way to do this is just load up Dust 2 Deathmatch. Do no bots, though. Uh, I feel like it's easier without having people trying to shoot you. So to summon the boss, many people have different theories, but the one that I found works is you got to kill five chickens within 30 seconds. Uh, so I'll just fast forward through me doing that right here. So, um, yeah. So I'll slow down right here. This is the fifth chicken here. Once you kill the fifth chicken, you're going to hear a rumbling. And the screen will shot to start to shake, alright? Uh, I'll just get somewhere safe. And uh, there's another loading screen, sorry. There's a lot of these in this game. Doesn't have to load as long though. The level's already loaded, it's just loading up the, the boss and his his minions, you know. So you're gonna have to fight the minions first. Uh, they'll be in the if you were at A bomb site closer, then they'll be in CT spawn. But since I'm at B, they're gonna be in B tunnels. So let's try and fight these things. Yep, there's one of the minions. Alright, the minions right there. Oh yeah, he's shooting. They all have uh, P90s, the most powerful weapon in the game, as we all know, and... Oh, he's still shooting me, okay. Alright, yes, he's out of ammo, perfect. Uh, they only carry one clip, which is really fucking stupid, but they, they do, so... Just... This other guy. And yeah, he's gone. Alright, let's just go straight for this guy. He's helpless now, because I've, I've murdered his friends. Yeah, that's right. So, now that we've killed them, we can go straight on through the final boss at the B-bomb site. He'll be at A-bomb site if you were closer to there when you killed the final chicken. I would just hide behind this crate, because he is pretty powerful with that P90. So, let's just go out. And... Yeah, I'm gonna go for it. Yep. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay, yeah. So, this was part of a partnership between Valve and Bungie for the upcoming Counter-Strike Universes vs. Halo Universe game. Uh, it's coming out uh, this holiday season. So this is where you get the drops. This is only shot once you kill Master Chief. It's right there. Uh, you can just pick them up. Here are the drops. So there's the Orp Dragon Law. That's pretty good. The Karambit Fade, 90-10 True. That's pretty fun to use. Let's get on to the good stuff. So there's the RPG Launcher. I'm glad that they brought this back. It's a Counter-Strike Classic. It's a classic weapon in this game. It's it's a classic, to be sure. The Portal Gun. I'm, I'm so happy this was one of the drops, you know. It really brings a new edge to the competitive game. So uh, this is one of my favorite plays I like to pull with the Portal Gun. You shoot one portal down there. Right after the game starts, just shoot another one up here, and then boom, you can you got easy access to B bomb site. You can also just go straight into CT, shoot him with a you know RPG. Uh, this one I feel might be a little bit unbalanced, so it's the C4 2.0. So you can uh, set the time on this too, uh, and uh, you can just plant this wherever you want. It doesn't have to be in a bomb site. So I've set it to five seconds, uh, and yeah, I better get away. It's pretty powerful, uh, and that'll just kill anyone in its vicinity. And that's an auto win for the terrorists. Might be a little bit unbalanced. I'm hoping for a patch for that. But uh, anyway, I hope this helped you beat the Dust 2 boss. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, thanks, Val, for making such a great game. Very big fan.